right, boxer on, gets it, gates are locked. Drawing your ball, behind the line. Three, two, one, go! Here we go, folks. This final qualification match before lunch should be exciting. Titan Robotics has an incredible machine. The robot features an automated tracking system that can deliver cargo to the upper hub from anywhere outside the tarmac. That will be one to keep an eye on their 5587. As the teleoperated period begins, your score is 30 to 22. Of course, that's unofficial. We've got the Blue Alliance out in front. Here comes the Red Alliance. Torch operating the machine they call the Crystal Mantis, getting it done for the Red Alliance. The Red Alliance now has the lead, 38 to 35. Now there's a flag, this one will be against the Red Alliance. Additional cargo flying. Red Alliance trying to maximize this opportunity. 2987 appears to be stalled out on the field. That's Rogue Robotics. Engineers are working with their controls trying to regain contact with their machine. That means that the Blue Alliance is a robot short. Coaching power and Paradox will have to make up the difference. Less than a minute to go. 60 to 44, Red Alliance with the lead. A lot of pushing and shoving down there on the field. 54-14, Paradox. Gathering up cargo on the far side of the field against the base of the hub. They stop at the edge of the tarmac, shoot and score. Blue Alliance closing the gap now. They've got 50 points. Not 55, 87, Titan Robotics taking on the Taiwanese, shoving them back up against the terminal. 18 seconds remaining, we're inside the hangar. Those blue and red alliance robots are in the process of climbing. Red alliance has won, it has secured a traversal run climb. The blue alliance attempting to do so in the closing seconds, they've got it! Expired. Blue Alliance has scored one traversal climb. It appears that there is one high-level climb. Red Alliance has scored a double traversal climb. 